Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is the game. Jeremy McWilliams. Remember the name. Yeah, yeah. New music coming soon. I'm sorry for the wait. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Family home for the holidays, but I've been working. They coming for your spot if you don't really put the work in. This past year was full of long nights and longer days. Cause in the rap game, nothing is forever certain. I've got my second album done that you've been craving for. I'm staying patient, taking me this till they pay me more. I'm never rushing out the product that I got, but my time is money, so I paid a lot to be waiting for. I know artists who release the music they don't like to get their numbers up, and that is not the way of life. Cause everything is long term in the game. You don't wanna look back on some shit that you just can't explain. I just came back from LA, I've been taking meetings. Drive around the city, and if you've been getting scenic, out in Staples Center with the biggest agency. I would dream about the shit when Brown was playing for the heat. Only 23 is my time now. 2019, yeah, they better all find out. USPS, what up? We back. I feel like we were just here. Got that VIP spot, and it's time to go send some packages to their new owners. Today we are shipping out a what is this? Apple, I think it's called the Magic Keyboard and Magic Mouse 2. I was trying to shove it in this tube, but it wasn't big enough, so I gotta buy a. Hopefully they have a bigger bubble mailer inside. I think they do. And then what else we got? We got a microphone. The what is this? The blue ice? Ice, ice, baby. Ice, ice, baby. I think it's a, uh, it's not the Yeti. The Yeti is the one I have now. I think this one's the blue ice microphone, I believe. Anyways, this is going to his new owner, and so is the keyboard and mouse. So, take these bad boys inside. Where's that shipping label? Since I already paid for my postage. Hope I didn't forget it. Oh, there we go. And the packing slip. And my friends. That's it. Let's go make some magic happen. Cha-ching! Thank you, ma'am. That is a wrap for USPS for today. Only shipped two items. Not a bad day in all, I suppose. I had uh, two offers on uh, shoes, two pairs of sneakers that kind of kicking myself that I didn't accept. They're two decent offers. One was those pink Jordans. I think someone was trying to offer me 95 for those. And what are they listed at, like 105? I counted it at 100 and I don't think they ever answer my counter, so we'll see. There's a lot of views, a lot of watchers, so I have no doubts they'll sell. I'm just a little impatient right now. It will all come in due time, though. And then the other offer was for those uh, women's Vapor Air Maxes. I think I've listed at 145. Someone offered me 120. I split it in half, countered at 130.250, and they rejected my offer. I'm kind of surprised they didn't do a counter offer of like 125, which I probably would have accepted. I honestly just enjoy the game. It's like a game to me. I don't really care that much about, you know, obviously I want to maximize my earnings, but I enjoy the uh, bargaining aspect of eBay and the uh, offer and counter offer stuff. It's fun, good times. But yeah, that's, uh, that's all for the eBay stuff today. I'm sure we'll be back here, what is today, Wednesday? Something tells me we'll be selling some more stuff and we'll probably be back here tomorrow. I'm thinking I need to start scheduling pickups at my house now that I'm doing the uh, reselling thing a lot more often because I don't dislike going to the post office by any means. The post office by me is cool. The one at Lake Mary, everyone's always very nice, which uh, I can't say the same for every 
for uh, other USPS offices I've been to, but this one is good. So kudos to everyone that works at the uh, Lake Mary post office. Other than that, guys, the reason I'm making this video is I'm thinking about doing a video, maybe like a weekly video, maybe it will be a new series and it will be something along the lines of what I sold on eBay for that week. So I'll talk about like my new, uh, my new buys, my new finds. I'll show you guys what they are, where I bought them or where I found them, what I paid for them, and then I'll show you what I list them for and eventually what I sell them for. And then we'll go over like that whole process, like the whole breakdown. So if that's something you guys wanna see, let me know in the comments down below because I feel like that make for a cool video for like maybe a weekly or bi-weekly thing. Just go over, you know, the list of new finds, what sold, what didn't sell, where I sold it, whether it be Amazon, eBay, and what the profit was. So hopefully that can help some people out if you're interested in that kind of thing. So please, once again, let me know down below. Anyways, I'm off to Target. That's where I'm headed right now. I'm going to Target because... Here I am. There's a hurricane coming apparently. I, I think it's supposed to be, I don't know, man. I hardly pay attention to the weather these days. The only reason I know is because my son's school sent us an email about inclement weather. And then my girlfriend said something about her friends were saying that stores are already selling out of water. So I'm gonna hit the target in Lake Mary, see if there's any good stuff in the clearance sections to possibly resell. And then after that, we'll go on a little search for some H2O so we don't run out of water. Cause you gotta stay hydrated, man. You can't accomplish things if you're not hydrated. So that's the game plan, guys. We got one left turn and then one right turn, and then we hit our target. Get it? Hit our target, because we're going to target. All right, cool. <laughs> like I said, left turn, right turn, and wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. All right, you can barely see it from here. Promise it's up there on the left. The target. We made it. Mission accomplished. Well, not really mission accomplished. We'll see once we get inside if we can find some aqua and find some goods, find some treasure. We did not, my friends, however, get VIP parking. That much is for sure. So I guess we're just gonna park all by ourselves way out here somewhere. These people are probably like, what are you doing, man? Tricking you, bro. That's what I'm doing. Parking all by myself. Target, round one. Let's go. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Hmm. First order of business: water or treasure? What do you guys think? Water or treasure? You know where I'm headed. And that. Is the yellow sign we're looking for 70 percent not bad let's see if we can find anything good the heck is this guy stone eight hmm was 60 now 18. don't know what you are my stony friend captain marvel <laughs> captain marvel and marvel's goose Saying too much. Ooh, what up, Beetlejuice? Hey, you know? Man, my little dude used to love these. Not so much anymore. Mega Man. Heck yes. Remember this from when I was a kid? I used to love that show and game. Oh, we got some. What's this? Oh, here we go. Another Captain Marvel. Eight bucks. Let's see what that's selling for. Those two Captain Marvels. No. What is this? A wig? Uh, what's this? Rocket League. Well, a little dude was looking at these the other day. I have no idea what they are. I'll check that one out. And last but not least, this giant Jurassic World Lego set. I, swear, I bet you this thing was at least 100 bucks retail. What do you guys think? Maybe it's not even the right location. I'm not seeing a price sticker. Nope. No sticker. Hmm. 
Is there a price check around here? I'm not seeing anything. All right, maybe we'll come back to that one. In the meantime. All right, so this Captain Marvel is 18 bucks on Amazon with free shipping with Prime. 748 here, and then it's listed for like 22 on eBay. So it's a decent profit as long as we can ship it for cheap, which we should be able to. It's not very heavy. So I might grab this one, put it in the car for now. This dude is listed for, what was it, like 24, 25 on eBay, so not enough of a profit with uh, shipping to grab that dude. Now, let's check out this one and that one. And this one's listed for like 10 to 15 bucks. And there you go, it's three bucks here, so I'll grab this dude too. If nothing else, I'll give it to Little Man because he has looked at these quite a bit, even though I have no idea what they are. All right, guys. Clear section one of one done. Kinda wanna get Mega Man. Didn't even know Mega Man was still around, to be honest. Am I missing anything else? Hmm. I don't think so. I think that's about it. Alright, moving right along. Ooh, that giant Charmander Funko Pop though. Not mad at that. That's actually kinda cool. Got a giant SpongeBob too. And a really creepy cat or something. Hmm, not seeing all too much at this target. Oh, there we go, there's another clearance. 50% off, not quite 70, but who knows. Ooh, what up Goldberg? Maybe we'll find something good. Watermelon smash, no. Hackathon, nah. <laughs> there's Pimple Pete, still trying to get rid of him for six bucks. Another one of these dudes, for some reason, is this one cheaper or same price? I don't know, I don't know. Oh. And another one, and another one. Oh, what do we have here? Buzz Lightyear's Star Adventure playset. This is in the wrong space. Something tells me it is. Oh wait, no, it's not. Thirteen ninety-eight. Looks cool, but my dudes already got way too many Toy Story toys and just toys in general. Games, games. This thing looks kind of cool. We'll check this out. And that might be it for over here. A bunch of incredible stuff, which I've been seeing everywhere. Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. Just trying to get rid of them. All right, Mr. Robotic Soccer Hex. Let's see what you're worth. Found a couple of these on eBay, and two of them sold recently for 15 bucks with free shipping. Considering this is nine and I still have to pay it to ship it, it does look cool, but that's going to be a no-go. Moving on. Well, unfortunately, I think this might be it for the clearance section at the Lake Mary Target. I gotta say, this backpack looks pretty sweet. Even though little dude already got two new ones for the school year. And once again, I'm pretty sure this is in the wrong section. What is up with this Target and not having price tags? Must mean there's a lot of free stuff today. Alright, let's see what we got. A whole lot of nothing, it looks like. <laughs> Check this out. Flush and frenzy. Poop. There it is. Push the plunger till the poop pops up. Now that sounds like a good time. Got one of these crazy, scary looking dudes. Happy, sad. Happy, sad. Happy. Well, not really happy. Like, unimpressed, angry. Well, I was just about to leave and then I saw this guy. This whole little aisle right here is a clearance section. We got 30, then 70, then another 70. Unfortunately, I already checked everything out. It looks like it's been ran. Ooh, actually, what am I talking about? Here's another Rocket League car. So now we got two. Grab both those dudes. I think that's it though. I think I looked at everything else for the most part. I thought this might be a good find, but nah, this one doesn't sell for nearly as much as the other one I showed you guys. And then we got this interesting little game. The little dude actually has toilet trouble, except it's just one toilet, and it's one of the worst, crappiest board games we've ever played. So even though it's six bucks, I'm not touching this thing. Don't recommend it. It's... <laughs> well, what do you know? A ton more Pimple Pete's. Clearly... Mr. Pimple Pete is not a very popular game. Whoa, my friends. That is about a wrap. 
at Target. Another reason I came here was to get water because we're supposed to have a hurricane hit us possibly this like Sunday, but the water section is Dunzo's. Completely empty, so holy crap. Now there's a huge line. Right, let's do this. That feeling when you park all the way out here by yourself. Check this out. This is my view. Target's way over there. See all these parking spots? And then, boom. A friend decides they don't want you to be alone and they park right next to you. Gotta love it, man. Gotta love it. Well, my dudes, that is a wrap for uh, Target, at least the Lake Mary Target. It's like 610. I need to get some food, man. Get some grub. I'm starving. My family's starving. So I wanted to hit up the, uh, oh man, there's a TJ Maxx right there. I forgot about that one. Man, I wanted to hit up that TJ Maxx and that Ross over there. Maybe I will real quick, or maybe I'll have to wait for another day. Either way, we only got three items from that Target, all small ticket items, but I'm trying to get my Amazon FBA account rolling, which means I need some products to sell. So that's the reason I grabbed those, even though there's not a very big uh, profit margin by any means on any of them. The goal is just to get a little bit of inventory, get some sales. So like I said, we can get my Amazon FBA account rolling and start posting some content about that for those of you that are interested in Amazon FBA. So mission accomplished, hopefully. I don't know, we'll go home, we'll take some pictures, we'll post them. I haven't messed around with that Amazon FBA in a while, so uh, man, I'm hot. <laughs> Starting to look like a tomato, it's so hot out here, so humid. Yeah, uh, go home, post them, figure that whole thing out, and we'll start getting some Amazon FBA content moving. Anyways, I'll have to go find some food or hit up TJ Maxx or Marshalls or something, or I don't know, man. Go and do something. Right about meow. Welcome back to the video, dudes. It is now one day later, Thursday at 8 p.m. 8.02 to be exact. And I am headed to, oh, gotta catch the green light, gotta catch the green light, gotta catch the green light. Since we're supposed to get a hurricane this weekend, possibly, I'm hearing it might be like category four, which is serious business. I'm uh, trying to get a little work done ahead of time, be proactive, and I uh, already got everything stocked up. We hit up the grocery store, we found some aqua, so we're good to go on food and water. But now I gotta try and handle some business things ahead of time, so I got some uh, things to do if I can't go anywhere this weekend. So, the reason I'm telling you this is that last little clip, I said I might be going to check out Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something. I ended up going to get food because like I said, family was hungry. Brought them home food and then I did a little bit of something something and wrapped it up for the night. So now, a day later, we're going to finish off what we started. But first, coffee. Even though it's eight, I haven't had that much caffeine today. I haven't had coffee in forever. I don't know why. I'm really, really craving it right now. So I'm gonna go hit up Dunkin'. Hopefully they're still open. Get a little latte with some almond milk and then we will begin the festivities, which is probably gonna end up being hitting up Ross, Marshall's, TJ Maxx in Sanford, which is like two or three minutes away from uh, this Dunkin' that I'm about to go to. And then depending on what time the stores close, if we still got time, we're gonna head over to Lake Mary and hit that Ross and that TJ Maxx. And is there Marshalls over there? I'm not sure if there is, we'll hit that one too. See if we can do all that in like an hour and a half. Cause like I said, it's eight o'clock. I wanna get home in time to say goodnight to little man, read him a bedtime story, do all that dad stuff that I really enjoy. And it's like always a good nightcap for me, but uh, do what you can. I'm gonna try and do my best. If not, is what it is we shall try. So like I said, before we get started, coffee. So I changed my mind. I was gonna get some gas because I need to fill up the old Yoda tank before my girlfriend goes to work tomorrow and check out this situation we got going on. 
this is BJ's, which is like right next to that Dunkin'. And uh, yeah, it looks like we got a little bit of a old fashioned lineup going on. And I am not about to wait in that to get some gas. So I passed a 7 Eleven on my way here. And I looked at it real quick. And it looked like the situation there was about a million times better. There wasn't really any lineup at all. It looked like there was a bunch of pumps open. The gas is a little bit more expensive there. But I'm going to go ahead and take one for the team spend a couple extra pennies to save myself a heck of a lot of time because time is money 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 so uh people are crazy man when uh, every time there's supposed to be a hurricane that hits florida people go crazy every once in a while we do get one that's serious but oh there's my turn for dunking but uh for the most part People hear a hurricane, they go bananas, buy all the water, all the bread, all the gas, and I don't know, man. Maybe it's just me, but uh, I'm not quite that worried about it. But we do need gas, so we'll have to find gas at some point. We'll go hit up that 7-Eleven at some point and hope that they're not out of gas. But first, like I said, coffee, coffee, coffee. Come here, go go back in this. Chris, what can I get for you? Hey, can I get a... All right, man, yeah, have a good one. Right. You too, man. Take it easy. All right, guys, we got that situation clarified. That dude was super nice. Man, this should be a nice little experiment. I have not had a hot coffee in... <laughs> I cannot even remember the last time, man. It's been a long time. Mostly because, as you guys know, I live in Florida, and it's hot as the devil's you-know-what up in this mofo. So, uh, usually it's just if I'm craving a coffee, you know, iced coffee makes a heck of a lot more sense but for some reason i'm feeling the hotness tonight dang there's another gas station that is just holy i don't even know how to describe that one that one's about as bad as bj's let's go check out the 7-eleven and see what the situation is looking like the moment of truth is upon us there's got to be something wrong with it if there's only like two cars there maybe they jacked up their prices <laughs> just because they know they can get that money. What are we looking at? 230, what does it say? 239? And I think BJS was like 231. I can live with that as long as they have gas. Oh, I see one red thing. I don't understand why there's no cars here, man. What am I missing? What am I missing, guys? All right, well, there's a bag on that one. There's a bag on that one. All right, I think I know what I'm missing. <laughs> Looks like there's no gas. We got another bag. We got another bag on the tank. Another bag, and last but not least, another bag. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Not looking good, guys, not looking good. Uh, there's one pump without a bag on it, and there's a car there. Something tells me they probably just forgot to put a bag on it. I don't know what to do. We got like, man, got under a quarter of a tank. All right, so my phone cut off in the middle of that last clip, but we're gonna have to worry about gas after we hit up this Ross and its little friend over there my boy marshall's priorities guys <laughs> priorities stop just kidding go all right ross come on show me the money show me something good show me some treasure let's go find some treasure all right so nothing to be found as far as men's shoes at this roscoe the sanford ross but i did find these guys some barcelona shin guards and then some team usa ones Barcelona ones sell for more, so I think I'm gonna grab these, see if they sell. If they do sell for, they're listed at like a little over twice what the price is right there. So if I can sell them for that, maybe I'll start uh, buying more or at least looking out for more of these in the future. But uh, this one's a small and this one's a large. I think these ones looks like they sell for a little bit more, so we'll go ahead and grab these ones for tonight. What are those? What are you doing, Steve, man? I don't know quite how I feel about these. What do you guys think? Should I grab them for my girlfriend? Think she'll like them? <laughs> Moving on. All right, guys, so I lied. I actually did find one thing, some kid shoes. These are priced at $36.99, and they're selling pretty consistently on eBay for at least twice that much. So haven't tried kid shoes yet, but it seems like a pretty solid pair to uh, pop that cherry. So I'm gonna grab these. I got these and I got some vitamins. Let's go. Well guys, we had some decent finds at Ross. Honestly, better than I expected, much better. Those kids shoes are actually pretty dope, man. 
I don't typically look at the kids section, at least not too serious, but if something stands out like those did, I figure it's worth at least uh, checking eBay, and I'm glad I did, because it looks like it's gonna be a pretty good find. With that said, we are now Marshalls, and it closes in like 20 minutes, so let's make this snappy. All right, not seeing too much, but obviously I'm trying to go as quick as I can, because like I said, they're about to close, so most importantly, let's hit up the clearance aisles. See what we're working with. Yeah, it's looking pretty dry, to say the least. Nothing on the female side. Let's check out the male side. Bada bing. These dudes are still here. They've been here for quite a while. Got some white hyper dunks. Uh, what are these? Might take a look at those cleats, but first, see if we can spot anything else. What? in the world are these things. Hmm. Ooh, it's actually a little kind of dope. A little skeleton theme going on. Alright, what else we got? What else? Tennessee Vols colors. Digging it. Go Vols. Some more Hyper Dunks. Some... Might check out those Jordans. And that's probably it. Yep. Alright, so now it is 9.35. We did not find too much at Marshalls. I got one shirt for me, and then I got another shirt, a uh, Toy Story shirt. That was on clearance for like five bucks, but uh, I'm gonna try and resell for like 15 or something. Just for the heck of it. See if it sells. If it doesn't, I'll return it. No big deal. So uh, now we're off to go find some gas and then wrap it up for the night. Completely forgot how to hot now somewhat hot cup of coffee wait for me in the car that process took a while because of course the uh, cash register that i chose or i didn't really choose the one i was given was having all kinds of issues trying to print a receipt so it is what it is you win some you lose some luck of the draw i was not the lucky one there's only like two people left in the store me and this other guy we're checking out at the same time and he beat me by quite a bit but it's not how you start, it's how you thin. Wait, that doesn't really apply here. Anyways, it's been a long day. I'm starving. I need to find some gas. And then we're gonna wrap this video up. So guys, this is where I say farewell, my friends. Until next time, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Enjoy the rest of your night, day, whatever time it is when you watch this video and I will catch you in the next one. And as always, stay limitless. Bada bang, bada boom. Take a shot, you got everything you'll ever need. You fought, you're not gonna let up on the speed. Those knots, they got you, are only make